So picture this. You're browsing online, say like Reverb, or in my case, use a go around, and you stumble across something like this. This is listed as a 1996 made in Japan Jackson Dinky. And that price? Rather attractive if you ask me. But wait, how can you be so sure that this guitar was made in 1996? Well, like with a lot of other guitars, you might head straight for the serial number. Right there on the back of the neck plate, there's a serial number beginning with 96. And most serial numbers tend to tell you what the year is in the first couple of numbers. So that makes sense, right? It's a 96 dinky. Wrong. Now I'm no expert and the whole Japanese Jackson thing is kind of confusing on the surface, but once you know what to look for, it can save you a lot of time and heartache if you're actually out there looking for these things. And now I said I'm no expert, but I do have a little bit of credibility. These are my Japanese Jacksons. This is a Jackson DK2M, and this is a Jackson RR3, which we'll probably use this one more as the example. So going ahead with the RR3 here, if you look at the serial number on the back of the neck plate here, it starts with a 97, so that should tell you that this was built in 1997. Same thing with my dinky, it starts with a 97, so it's made in 1997. But like I said, it's a little more convoluted than that. So how can you tell when your Jackson was actually built? Well, to do that, you need to bust out the screwdriver and take this thing apart, which is what I did in this case. As you can see from this picture here, the bottom of the neck is stamped RR3, indicating the model, and the date is May 17th, 2006. The neck pocket on the body here is a little harder to make out, but it looks like the body was made about two days earlier than the neck on the 15th of May in 2006. And if you do a little bit of digging online and you find some archive Jackson catalogs, you'll discover that the RR3 is in fact featured as a guitar that was made that year. Furthermore, if you continue looking through, you'll see that the DK2, which is like mine, but with a rosewood board in the HSS configuration, and a little further down, you'll see the DK2M. So now let's go take a look at the 1997 catalog. Scrolling along the catalog, we do come across this. Looks familiar, right? Well, let's enlarge this, shall we? This guitar does look an awful lot like mine. Black guitar, black pick guard here, three knobs, Seymour Duncan pickups, the works. But right up top here, this says this is the RR1, and we know from looking at our neck pocket earlier that this guitar is an RR3. Let's continue though, because the 1997 catalog did in fact have an RR3 listed in it. These two here to be exact, but some noticeable differences straight away. First, the color options. There isn't even a black RR3 here. Secondly, the lack of the guard where the knobs would be, and speaking of the knobs, these only have one. On top of that, these have Duncan design pickups in them. Okay, so what's the deal with the serial numbers then? And how would I know without getting the guitar and having to take the neck off? Because let's face it, it's not always the most convenient thing to do. The only thing that I've really heard is that they started numbering them just numerically and just went on. That's pretty much it. It's not very earth shattering, is it? But there is some hope based on some information that I found copied and pasted on multiple websites. Any serial numbers that are six digits and made in Japan seem to denote the year of production. This seems to be evident in the professional series guitars. Even a few are not a part of the series. If the first number in your code is between zero and seven, this can tell you the year. For example, zero equals 1990 and seven equals 1997. Some of these codes also start with J in which the same dating applies. The seven digit codes on the other hand did not provide the year. An example would be a serial number that starts with 98. But after further digging, these guitars are actually dated 2004. This seems to be the case with any seven digit factory codes that start with 96, 97, or 98. The only way to really date these guitars is to remove the neck, then see if the date was written on the heel or pocket. Either that or compare the hardware on your guitar to older catalogs. See if you can cross-reference them to something with a verified date. Just remember, this only applies to any Japanese-made guitars with seven digits. There are no letters in the factory code. So you see, even in the statement about the seven digit serial numbers, there's a contradiction. It said that they had one that was a 98 serial number that was built in 2004, but you can see that we have ours here with a 97 serial number that was built in 2006. So the long and short of all this is that you can't really use the serial numbers in this case like you would on a lot of other brands, but you can at the same time to get a general sense of where it was made. So for example, if it's the six digit or seven digit serial number, you can pretty much guess that it was made in Japan. But then if you have something like this, this one starts with NHJ and it's a much longer serial number. I wanna say that that indicates India and then CWJ with a longer serial number is China. So with all that being said, I just wanna leave you with this. I wouldn't stress too much as to whether you're getting a 90s Japanese Jackson or one of the mid 2000s Japanese Jacksons because the ones that were made in the mid 2000s, they play great. They sound fantastic. They're specced off the grid, stock, if you happen to find them stock. They're amazing guitars. 
So unless you're looking to get one to flip it or you're just a collector of the 90s, I wouldn't worry about it too much. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please make sure you subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell notification, check the links below. Like I said before, there's also links down there to my merch store if you wanna go and support me in any other way besides just subscribing. And until next time, guys, I'll see you later.